Okay, it's going to be a short video on a topic that most people do in regards to uh, what their personal carry is. But I'm not going to be talking about my personal carry weapon. Um, that will be uh, a separate video. This is pretty much on the body carry that I normally carry every day that I have set aside on my EDC tray every morning that I put on my body um, in my pockets and I carry um, with me pretty much throughout the day uh, with the exception of me uh, when I come over to my property in New Mexico uh, and pretty much take some of this stuff out of my pockets but needless to say that these are just items that I carry with me on a regular basis I wanted to share that with you um, and as to the reason why um, this is not uh, high-end items with the exception of maybe one item which is pretty much high-end uh, to a certain extent uh, but let's get started so the first item is my wallet my wallet is a Travax wallet the summit notebook I've had this for a number of years uh, the reason that I select this wallet was because of the amount the way the card carry configuration is uh, pretty much you can slide you, I, uh, you can slide these cards out and I carry a, a Travex comb also uh, this is actually good for uh, opening beer bottles and combing although I don't have my beer anymore I got rid of it uh, comes with a nice little notebook and a nice little pen. You can put cash either under here or in this area. But that is the wallet. And this wallet inside the tray carries one... Just about eight cards. I did get rid of an ID card um, a while back ago. But other than that, it's it helps. I carried in the front pocket. And so far, it hasn't caused me any issues. So far, it's good to go. I do have some extra papers in here and some cash that I need to get rid of. But, you know, like some of us do, we carry a lot of junk in our wallets. Next item is my Benchmade. Now this is probably the high-end item. I don't quite remember how much I paid for it, but I remember I picked it up mainly because it was in the uh, bargain bin. Um, when I took my, when I checked to get my notes ready for this video, I checked the Benchmade website, and this was going for two hundred and. $30, which I don't think it costs that much. So if, you could probably find it elsewhere for under that amount. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was probably 150 to uh, 300 Now, as to why I carry a knife, well, I'm a veteran. Most veterans carry knives. This is an automatic. In Texas, we are allowed to carry automatics. It's got a nice little lock. And I like the serration on the blade. So I need to cut anything that needs a little bit more aggressive edge to be cut. Other than that, it's an excellent knife to carry. Uh, has never caused me any issues. I know that with some of the bench, oh, other benchmates, I've had lint catch here. Which didn't allow it to facilitate being fully opened. Um, other than that. This has been an excellent knife for what I mainly use it for, uh, which is honestly nothing. Uh, I would have to say that it's probably considered more of a defensive knife. I have another utility that I use for cutting, uh, which I will, uh, will include in this video. And that one actually was very, very inexpensive compared to this knife. But this knife works out just fine. So there you have a Benchmade Kabosh. And, oh, well, the main reason that I bought it was because of blue. Uh, my favorite color is blue, and it was available in blue.
Next item is flashlight. <coughs> this is a Waltech A1. It's a rechargeable flashlight. And this thing is just great. Um, this thing will last for almost a week on one charge. I think the only time that I've ever had to recharge it is when I've made the mistake of using it and I've turned it on. It's got variable lights and I had the habit of putting it like this, then not seeing it on. And the next thing you know, it died or I forgot about it and I had to recharge it. But it is USB rechargeable. So this will save you a lot on batteries, much like the O lights, which I do have some O lights and those are at a separate location. I'll do a separate video on that uh, at a later time. This one actually is a very good flashlight, very good for pocket carry, very inexpensive. I think I bought it on Amazon for $20. So it was a very good investment. Uh, I believe that I've had this flashlight for almost a year and a half to two years. Never caused me any issues. The next item I'm going to talk about is a very, very inexpensive utility knife. As I was saying earlier, I don't use my Benchmade for cutting anymore. Ever since I started using one of these. And this is actually very good uh, for, uh, say, cutting... Um, Envelopes, cardboard boxes, you get a shipment or something, you know, you don't have to use your knife, which, you know, we all know that cutting paper dulls your blade. So this works out great. I bought this at Walmart in a double pack. It is a hard utility knife, four in one. I guess they call it four in one because it's got the utility knife, a ruler, uh, a bit holder, and a bottle opener. And it's got a nice little uh, pocket clip, which I don't really carry it in my pocket. I on my clip i don't use the clip to carry it i just put it in my pocket uh, most other utility knives of this configuration are in the price range of 60 to 80 maybe even 100 dollars. this one was i would have to say eight dollars for a two pack and the blades are replaceable of course so you're looking at four dollars for this very very inexpensive for the purpose that other ones that are, have this design do, this is a very, very inexpensive alternative. You can buy one of these, you lose it, you know, only out $4. And if you buy the double pack, you have a spare. Something that, something that I was looking for the other, uh, um, the other day when I was considering buying some of the expensive ones. I've had this one for probably about a week, and I like it. gonna be my Fitbit now normally I carry a watch um, I started wearing the Fitbit when I was beginning to work out again uh, although I haven't been doing very much working out but it still keeps at least track of my steps and should I decide to do any kind of walking or rocking I have my Fitbit with me um, Pretty much I have alarms set up on my uh, on my phone, so I don't need to keep an eye on the time anymore as I did before. Um, so, but Fitbit is one of the other items that I have on me. Next item is my car keys, obviously. Um, I, ri I drive a standard Honda sedan. Uh, this is a little, just a little uh, bracelet that my wife made for the new year. But uh, I just couldn't keep it on. And I'm not very much of a person that carries, um, that uses bracelets. I mean, I do wear a watch, which I'll discuss next. Uh, on my keychain is, of course, uh, specs so I can give me some uh, discounted liquor. House keys. This is the key to my gun safe and two very small flashlights. Um, it's an O light. I need to, oh, 
I'm gonna charge that one. And then sometimes I change phones. So I have some SIM card removals. Okay. Next thing is my phone. I am carrying a old 2016 iPhone. Get rid of some of these notifications. Jesus Christ, man, a lot of notifications. Okay, here we go. 2016 iPhone SE. 128 gigabytes now I do stay up to, uh, to with technology I did have a uh, iPhone 12 mini uh, but because of my uh, termination of employment um, I set that phone aside and I started using this one uh, with good reason within a matter of maybe I don't know I want to say sometime last week you no know, two weeks ago I dropped this phone and I cracked the screen on this one. Now, if I had done that on the uh, 12 mini, uh, I probably would have had to pay somewhere around $200 to get this screen repaired. Uh, I got the screen repaired on this one for uh, $45. And then since I got the screen replaced, uh, I went ahead and had the battery replaced on it too. So $75 to get the screen and battery replaced on it. Uh, so it worked out great because technically speaking, now that I have the battery replaced, it's basically a new phone. Now, I do have an additional phone that I carry with me. Unfortunately, that's the phone that I'm using to film it. And it is a Note 8, Samsung Note 8, which I mainly use for, uh, as I'm doing now, for my recordings and for uh, streaming, uh, whatever it is I might be watching, YouTube, Hulu, so forth, so forth. Um, next item is, okay, so the next item is something that most of us may or may not carry, is a zip lighter. Had this one for probably about maybe two and a half years, give or take. My son bought it for me, um... When he was stationed in California, uh, Camp Pendleton, he asked me if I wanted any kind of memorabilia. I told him to give me a lighter, and I've carried it ever since. Then. The only issue with this one is, of course, I've come to realization that I gotta check it every day or check it every other two days, uh, make sure that it's um, filled up correctly. Otherwise, you can't use it. And uh, I was very surprised. Because I really don't use it that much, I'm not a smoker. It's just a cool factor of carrying this and having it available for whatever you may need it for. Uh, recently, I had to replace the flint, flint. So you're looking at the flint lasted me, of course, not using it on a regular basis, almost two and a half years. Uh, but it works out great. Just something to carry. Like I said, cool factor. Uh, someone needs a lighter for whatever reason. Remember when I was at a birthday party one time, um, for some reason they didn't have any matches. I pulled out the lighter. They would have used a lighter to light the birthday cake, birthday candles on the on the cake. So came in handy at that time. Come in handy for other reasons, but of course we all know uh, having the ability to use to light something up in a survival situation could be a uh, life or death situation, but. That's not really the whole topic of this uh, short video. It's just my personal uh, items that I carry on a regular basis. Okay. Zippo lighter. I will, of course, include links to most of the items that I discuss in the description. Next thing is, this is a funny issue because money clip. Now, I normally carry around... $30 in either ones or fives or tens. Uh, if I have twenties, I just put it in, the, I just put them in the wallet. 
But this is just, you know, so you have a little bit of cash on you. So you go into the 7-Eleven corner store, you want to get a soda, water, or something like that. You just have some, some, some loose ones. Or in some cases, if you may be that type of person, you go out to certain kind of clubs and you need some ones. Now, funny thing about it is that I have a money clip, but I misplaced it because I hadn't carried any cash in a while. And I set it aside and I cannot find it. So I have to order, I order two, but I will include in the link the particular money clip that I bought. Uh, it is a carbon fiber and it is only $10 on Amazon and it is an excellent clip. I've had other clips that were made out of metal and the amount, the amount of bills that you may have in that money clip expanded that one. This one never caused me any issues. I had, lar I had a larger amount of bills. Like I said, I usually sometimes I carry up to $30 in ones or a combination of my ones and fives and that never expanded the other the other ones that i've had before that expanded and they would eventually expand to the size of the amount of bills you had and they would no longer work currently i'm just using a <laughs> paper binder uh because i can't find it but let's just pretend that it's a money clip so money clip is another item Next item is pins. Now this is a Fisher Space Pin. I started carrying this one a while back ago. Of course, it's blue. And it works out great. Um, this is a pin that I would carry at work. And this is a Parker pin. Uh, I used to carry it in my collar, bow, in my collar shirt. Um, ever since I left the work, I started carrying my pocket and it's just included in my, uh, part of my EDC. Why carry an extra pin? Well, with the things that are going nowadays, um, it's always nice to have a pin to write things down or if you need to sign something at whatever, wherever you may be and you don't want to use the pin that they have. So you, you have your own pin. Getting a lot of notifications on my phone. Or, in some cases, um, like I said, someone needs to, needs to use a pin or whatever. You have a pin available. Either the Fisher pin or the Parker pin, doesn't matter. Parker pin is a pin that I've used. Uh, I have several of these. I have a solid one uh, that's completely silver. Unfortunately, I, I washed it one time and the ink cartridge leaked. I had to clean it out. And I haven't replaced the ink, ink cartridge, which was... The reason that I just bought this black one instead. Um, the other issue about having this particular pin is this actually can be used for self-defense. If you are uh, knowledgeable in regards to how to use a pin in a self-defense method. Next thing is pocket glasses. Now, I'm an old man. I have old eyes. And when I found these on Amazon... As I told my oldest son, these were a big game changer. Because I can carry this in my pocket and have glasses available. Sometimes you go to the store, you're looking for something, and you want to read about, the, I don't know, necessarily the ingredients or maybe the instructions or whatever. Okay. Sometimes when I'm shopping for, when I was shopping for ammo at Cabela's, I couldn't see what the grains were. Or the caliber because the writing on it was too small. I don't have my glass. I don't have my glasses with me. These came in really handy. They're very very nice. They come in the different uh, magnifications that you may need for us older gentlemen. And pretty much you just pop them on your nose bridge here, and they work great. So pocket glasses. These are awesome, in my opinion. And the very last thing is a handkerchief. A lot of people say handkerchiefs. Well, why would you carry a handkerchief? Well, when you got runny nose, uh, they're good for uh, bleeding or for whatever reason, wiping up something. Uh, I don't know, you get something in your face. I don't know, whatever. Now, I had, I had an incident a while back ago, uh, several, several years ago. I was leaving a restaurant and this lady uh, slipped on a step and she literally uh, 
fell pretty hard and she actually scraped herself pretty bad. Uh, we went to go assist her. I was with some co-workers and she was actually bleeding. I handed her my napkin, I mean my handkerchief, to wipe up the blood. I didn't it was normally I keep these, I wash these, I wash this one, and then I get one out of the drawer and I get another one. Um, if I've known that I've used it to wipe my nose, uh, it gets washed. But at that time, I know it was a clean one. Uh, I handed it to her so she was able to um, clean up the blood that she had from where she had injured herself. Of course, I told her to keep it. I didn't want it back. But it came in handy to help her uh, clean up the blood that she had. Uh, later on, uh, a female co-worker of mine was nice enough to buy me another pack of handkerchiefs, which I really, really appreciated. But handkerchief, uh, very important, in my opinion, to carry with you uh, for wiping your nose, uh, cleaning something off your hands, uh, and an emergency, stopping bleeding, and so forth. So I think that uh, that is pretty much the items that I carry on me um, and the reason for it. Uh, if you'd like to leave a comment or questions about anything, please do so and I will reply to anything you may add, you may want to discuss. But, like I said, these are just the items that I carry on my person. And the reasons why. Thank you for watching my short video. If you have any questions, comments, please leave a like. I appreciate your time. Take care. Be safe.